If you've recently bought a new laptop, computer, or phone, you are probably a little bit confused about what USB 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, and all the other USB types really mean. What are all the differences and how are they any better than each other? On top of that, there are so many different standards for USB 3.2, and it can be super confusing to tell the difference between all the random standards. That's why in this video, we'll go through and break down all of the differences between all of the different USB types, as well as all the USB 3.2 standards. So let's begin. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrent, we make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys stay updated. The reason why USB names can be so confusing is, well, <laughs> the names keep changing. For example, USB 1.0, 1.1, and 1.2 were turned into USB 2.0 when the USB 2.0 standard was launched, which made it incredibly confusing in the beginning. On top of that, when USB 3.1 was launched, USB 3.0 turned into USB 3.1, and when USB 3.2 was announced, USB 3.0 and 3.1 was again renamed to USB 3.2. So to make it easier for this video, here are some some of the key differences between all of the USB types and standards for USB 3.2. USB 3.2 Gen 1 was initially called USB 3.0 and USB 3.1 Gen 1. This version of USB has speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second, and it can also be known as super speed USB in some cases. This version was released all the way back in 2008, and these speeds were considered fast, but with the other versions we're going to speak about in this video, this is the the slowest of the bunch. However, many devices may still use the old naming structure depending on the age of the device, so be aware that they are the same. USB 3.2 Gen 1 mainly was used with the USB Type A connector, however, this can be found with USB Type C, mini USB, and micro USB connectors. USB 3.2 Gen 2 was initially known as USB 3.1 and USB 3.1 Gen 2, and it was also sometimes referred to as Super Speed Plus. It was released five years after the original, and it brought a lot of advancements in speeds. It has speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, which was double that of Gen 1. It's fully backwards compatible with USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, and was mainly developed to keep up with the Thunderbolt technology, which was a little bit superior at the time. USB 3.2 by 2 brought a massive speed increase, which could do speeds of up to 20 gigabits per second. That was double the speed of USB 3.2 Gen 2, and it was backwards compatible with USB 2.0, 3.0, and 3.1. This was only available via the USB Type-C connector. One of the reasons why so many different generations of USB 3.2 was released was so that they were compatible with all the different types of USB connectors and devices. USB Type-A was the dominant during the industry at one point. Almost every laptop and every charger and pretty much every storage device that you could think of had a USB Type-A connector. The USB Type-A connector was generally not reversible, so you could only use it one way. Then there was mini and micro USB. They were mainly found on phones and other portable devices that were too small to fit an entire USB Type-A port inside of them. You could only use these types of ports in one position again. That's why a new standard had to be created. USB Type-C has a 24-pin connector that can handle speeds anywhere from around 5 gigabits to 40 gigabits per second. It was created to give something that could be easily used on a laptop, computer, phone, or just a random device, since it doesn't take up too much space, but can have a lot of power still run through it. The vast majority of phones and laptops being produced today use the USB Type-C connector as the standard, and on top of that, many laptops have done away with the Type-A port altogether, switching exclusively to the Type-C connector. The most notable company to do so was Apple, who replaced all of their ports in their MacBook lineup to USB Type-C. Despite that though, Apple still doesn't use the Type-C connector on their phone, opting to use their proprietary port instead. However, that's all set to change really soon. Recently, the EU announced that they would require all phones to use the Type-C connector as standard, which would mean that Apple would have to basically ship their next iPhone with the Type-C connector instead of the Lightning one. 
finally. As you probably realized by now, the entire USB 3 family has been a little bit inconsistent and confusing over the years, especially with the constant changing of the naming structure, which is why the future of USB is going to be much more streamlined. USB 4 was officially announced in 2019 as the successor of USB 3.2, and it has a lot more uniformity than it ever has before. Normally, USB 4 has speeds of around 20 gigabits per second. However, it does support speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second. On top of that, even when you are restricted to the speeds of 20 gigabits per second, it generally performs a little bit faster than other USB type systems with the same speed due to a thing called tunneling. Unlike all the other different kinds of connectors that USB 3 had, USB 4 only has one connector, USB Type-C. On top of that, USB 4 is also compatible with Thunderbolt 3. USB 4 ports can be found in most high-end devices these days, including MacBooks and the Dell XPS laptops, for example. Visually, you might not be able to actually tell the difference between the USB 3.0 and USB 4 ports using the USB-C connector, but the differences in power and capabilities is clear. USB 4 is set to change the game with its impressive speeds, lots of features, and the fact that it uses the Type-C connector. But that's a wrap for all that you need to know on the USB 3.2 standard. What confuses you most about the USB 3 standard? Let us know down in the comments below. If you've found this video interesting, then make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.